Good morning guys on this beautiful day here on Koh Phangan, Thailand. Of course in this video we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price because what the fuck just happened and what can we expect. I'm going to compare some beautiful charts from very good TAs so you can see that they all expect the same. And then of course we are going to talk about Europol because they just bursted this beautiful Netflix streaming company it was providing everybody a beautiful video during the lockdown and they confiscated a lot of crypto and we are going to end the video with traveling because we need to decide where we will go at the end of July because our visa is running out but we know for sure we are not going to Cambodia because they just made a very strange rule check the video to see it and guys a very nice surprise tonight we will give you another video a family video where we show you how we had an amazing day here in Copangan visiting the Copagan challenge with a lot of funny uh, moments in it and of course we tried to play with it for a nice video but first guys start today with watching this video have fun and enjoy it guys on this sunny but also rainy day it's raining and the sun is shining at the same time I have a surprise today we will do a second video in the evening first jump into the office together yeah guys the second video will be a video about the beautiful day we spent as a family yesterday in the Copangan challenge and we did some mini golf and we both tried to pay them with Bitcoin and you will see the result in the video tonight yes I'm walking in the rain while the sun is also shining on my back it's such a beautiful refreshing feeling in the middle of the night guys i woke up a thunderstruck very hard i woke up i checked the time i saw the time but i also saw bitcoin going down and um, so i was already a little bit exciting in the middle of the night Ooh, maybe tomorrow i can buy some more bitcoins i'm still waiting and this is what if we look at the monthly channel no worries at all and um, the monthly is still positive the next month we just need to close again above 9360 maybe 9500 or maybe 10,000 and then would mean that in the monthly char charts we will be closing another month higher than the month before so let's see we still need to wait about 20 days to see the monthly chart um, so let's first focus now on the weekly chart if we look at the weekly chart we can use the chart I already used in a previous video do you see the beautiful channel running up the support of this channel so the support line of the channel is about 9000 US dollars yes we went to the lower 9000 yesterday but we still we are still performing in this channel if it comes to the weekly chart the top of this channel guys is still 11900 dollars still that 12000 dollars yes I'm referring to the 12000 we spoke about a few times in the last few videos so we are still holding this channel if we look at the weekly so let's see um, next Sunday we will close the weekly and if we could close it above 9,001, 9,200, 300 we are just beautifully in this bottom of the channel that would be a beautiful moment to buy some more bitcoins and take this beautiful ride up to the top of the channel to 12k which would mean you would be making 2k profit in maybe one or two weeks who knows but that's the weekly chart the daily chart guys yes also there I am referring to another chart I used a few days ago I do this so that you can see that what I talk about in previous videos this development of the TA a few days ago now is evolving um, into this result that we can see again on the charts hopefully you remember but on the daily charts we use this uh, chart where you saw the top 10,500 and you see this trend line going up and that was forming a triangle and um, we are still in this triangle as long as we stay above this 9200 is 300 ish we just closed the daily candle um, at 9275 and we are now at the moment of speaking around 9300 so if it comes to the daily chart guys we are still in this huge you know triangle um, this could just be another retest of the bottom of this upward trend line which would mean we maybe just gather some rocket fuel to break the 10,500 if it comes to the daily chart 
my good friend Matty Greenspan. Um, he also uh, posted a beautiful trout on Twitter if it comes to the daily one and I like this one because it's a little bit more clear than the soft grey one I am just shared with you guys. This one has a beautiful black background and this chart shows you this beautiful bright yellow trend line. It's a long yellow trend line. This trend line uh, is the support line we need to hold. The daily chart is showing us we are still holding it. Um, we are now at around 9,300. I think the support is between 9,350, 9,400 in this yellow trend line. So we need to see if we can hold this trend line. Yes, of course, you can always see a wick through the trend line, but if the body closes above this trend line, we are still holding this trend line. So let's see how this yellow line will hold us. Um, it's almost the same as this other chart. They both show us that we have a trend line that is moving upwards into this 10,500k resistance. We just need to break the 10,500k because then we don't see any other resistance lines, huge resistance lines that will stop us to 12k guys. But always looking at both sides of life. Always look at the bright side of life. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. <laughs> oh shit, Diddy, don't sing. Your singing quality is terrible. You might lose all your followers if you continue singing. So I will stop. I'm just feeling refreshing because I'm walking in the rain. It is still hot. The sun is shining on my face, but you can feel these like cold raindrops on your skin. And that is such a relief in a very warm country like Thailand because it's bloody hot. Normally I need to walk into the shade for you guys. Now I can just walk on the beach, feel these cold raindrops on my skin. Beautiful. That's why I was singing. <laughs> of course also, because you always need to look at the bright side of life, even if Bitcoin goes down. Bitcoin is not life, life is not Bitcoin. You know, that's why I always say you need to zoom out in Bitcoin and zoom in in life. Because if you zoom out in Bitcoin, you're not freaking out on every minute drop of Bitcoin and every four hour chart of Bitcoin and one one hour chart of Bitcoin because that is not important to live life. Important to live life is that you zoom in to every single minute of the day and try to make the best of every single minute of the day. And that is what I say to zoom in into life because if you try to make the best out of every single minute of the day, the minutes will be stacking up to hours and the hours will be stacking up to days and the days will be stacking up to weeks. And if you continue to try and push this beautiful happiness feeling every minute of the day, every hour of the day, every 24 hours and every week, life becomes a very beautiful thing. Yes, with ups and downs. Yes, like Bitcoin. But on average, I think it will be more beautiful if you just try to be happy 24 7. But guys, of course, because we need to look also at the less bright side of life, um, we need to check what could happen if we break this yellow line or this triangle uptrend line. Because if we would break the 9200 region, we could fall back to the next level of support. The next level support, yes guys, is at lower 8,000 US dollars, yes. First we need to break then 8,600 dollars of course and then to the lower um, 8,000 US dollars. The 8,000 dollar I just referred to guys, I refer to this because you can see the blue line on Maddie's chart. This is the 200 day moving average. The 200 day moving average has always been a huge support line so if we could if we would break the 9200 ish yellow line we could fall all the way down to the 200 day moving average blue line which is around 8000 US dollars always be prepared that if we break these 10 lines we could fall to the next level of support even then big guys please don't freak out zoom out because if we look at the sideways movement of Bitcoin. We have been going sideways for a very long time now. And I have talked about this many times. We were playing ping pong between 8K and 10K, 8K, 10K, 8K, 10K. We would still be in this sideways movement. So falling back to the next level of support is not going to be a crash to zero. Bitcoin is not going to stop. Too many positive indicators, too many positive fundamentals, too many institutional investors that are now looking into Bitcoin, buying Bitcoin. And believe me guys, they are not stepping in this world to lose guys. They step into the world 
to make profit. They don't care about the true fundamentals of Bitcoin. They only care about profit. And it is their game that they are playing for many years with many other assets and stocks. So if more and more of institutional investors enter the game of Bitcoin, like we see, believe me, Bitcoin is not going to zero. If we zoom in a little bit more to Lisa's chart, the beautiful colorful one I'm showing you now, pew, that one, this is a four hour chart. On her chart, you can see the support line, the first support around 9,150 US dollars. And you can see also the second support line is also around the 8,800 US dollars. Yes, I am comparing all these charts of all these traders. Why? To give you a bigger view of the difference between what all the traders expect. Because if you average out all the expectations of all the traders, you may get a better view um, of what will happen into the market. Because if you only follow one person, you never know if this person be, you will be right. If three people are telling you that the next line of support will first be around 8,600, 8,800, and then the second line will be around 8,000. If three traders or technical analysts are telling you this, then the probability of this happening is bigger than the probability of just one trader telling you this. That's why I compare multiple charts, multiple traders to give you a very honest insight into what is happening into the market. If it comes to the Bitcoin price, I'm going to say it one more time. Don't freak out, but please zoom out because that will lower the amount of stress you have in this volatile world of cryptocurrency. Please guys, believe me, we are still all in. We exactly as a family know how it feels to be fully dependent on a volatile cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Litecoin or Ethereum. We have been living this life for three years. I know how to reduce the stress factor in this style of life. So for all those people there that maybe be over invested in Bitcoin, not even all in, but if you allocated too much of your capital into Bitcoin and you feel stress, maybe this is the moment that you take a little bit out and take a little bit more into stable currencies so you stress a little bit less. Because if you lower the amount of capital you can lose, you will lower the amount of stress probably. If you're invested too heavily into cryptocurrencies and it makes you stress, it makes you not sleep for nights, please maybe divide your Bitcoin hodlings also a little bit into stable currency hodlings that will maybe give you a better night rest. That is the only thing I want to tell you because I just want to make sure that you understand that if you're freaking out, what a reason could be. But again, never freak out and always zoom out into crypto and the minute you feel you're freaking out about charts, you zoom out of the charts so far that you can't even see the chart anymore. And then you focus on something else very beautiful in life. Maybe your kids, maybe your wife, maybe a soccer game, maybe a funny video on YouTube, or maybe another video of the Bitcoin family on that part of life or that moment of the day, a beautiful cup of coffee while you're eating a croissant, zoom in on that one, enjoy that moment to the fullest, and you will forget all about crypto and all the drops and all the dips, because then you are zooming into life and enjoying every single minute of the day. And that is exactly what you should be doing without too much worrying about all other things in life. Two more short news. I'm, I promise you guys, I'm going to keep it short because you need to watch tonight's video. It was so much fun yesterday at the Copangan Challenge. You will see me smacking my face against the ball. You will see my wife smacking her face very hard against the ball. Oh my God, I even crushed my balls. The kids fell, the kids had fun, we had fun, we had some beautiful cocktails. You will see it in tonight's video. And yes, of course, we tried to pay with Bitcoins. Entertaining news, guys. Yes, there was a huge company busted, a Netflix, a streaming service that served more than 2 million people all over the world. And those millions of people were paying for the streaming service in cryptocurrencies, of course, partly in cryptocurrencies because not only cryptocurrencies is used to do illegal stuff. Yes, we also have been using the dollar and the euro and all other currencies in the world to do some illegal stuff. But there were more than 2 million people enjoying very beautiful videos during their lockdown for cheap prices because a streaming service was providing them this. They are now out of luck because Europol just bursted this company. They took it down. Yes, of course, they froze all their bank accounts, but they even confiscated their crypto wallets 
at least the crypto wallets they could uh, find or know that they were theirs because guys this company had a huge revenue of 70 million dollars and Europol was able to confiscate about 4.8 million US dollar worth in crypto and they were able to freeze 1 million dollar um, in bank accounts believe me Europol will plunder this bank account to zero because of all the claims that this company will have from Netflix um, and the Bitcoin wallets these are just 4.8 million if we sum these two up 4.8 plus 1.2 we get a beautiful number of 6 million dollar they had a 17.5 million dollar revenue so we are still searching for about 11 million dollar these are probably hidden on very beautiful hardware wallets that nobody can ever reach which again expresses the beautiful fundamentals of crypto if they want to beep you yes they can touch your bank accounts they can do whatever they want they cannot always touch all your crypto accounts yes maybe they can confiscate a few of them that you used the last couple of weeks of months but maybe you were smart enough to use a coin join or to use one of these services that scrambled up your bitcoins into other bitcoins and back to other currencies and that can't be proven now that these are yours and you store them beautifully somewhere on a hardware wallet in a safe so i don't know if these guys need to serve prison time but after they come out of prison i probably think they still have some funds left to enjoy a beautiful life somewhere on Wakiki Beach in Hawaii or wherever you know maybe even here together with me in Koh Phangan on this beautiful beach and then some travel news guys because I am in Thailand we still don't know what we are going to do at the end of July we still need to figure out how the visas and everything will work out but I can tell you one thing for sure we are not going to Kambodja <laughs> why because Kambodja came up with this new beautiful rule I don't think Kambodja wants any tourists because every tourist needs to deposit 3,000 US dollar um, before entering the country or at arriving at the airport because they will keep this 3,000 US dollars till you are tested for COVID if you don't have COVID yes you will get a refund minus the cost of the test who knows what this test will cost but if you have COVID they just take your 3000 US dollars and use it to quarantine you and to give you all the injections yes so then you will be paying 3000 US dollars to get injected and that's exactly what you don't want that will not only be a very very expensive holiday but also a holiday where you are probably welcomed in the trackable world of microchips that will be put into these injections um, if we need to believe all the conspiracy theories out there I don't know guys but I don't want to talk too much about it I just found it very funny guys that now these countries ask 3,000 US dollar a deposit before entering nobody is going to do that nobody is going to do that that was everything for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel click the bell button so you'll be notified on every new video so you will also be notified on tonight's video our beautiful family video how we try to spend bitcoin here in Kopangan. i wish you guys all an amazing day remember zoom out in crypto zoom in in life enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living see you tomorrow again bye